Army spokesman Azim Aguana announced the death of Chadian President Idris Deby in a broadcast on state television. Surrounded by a group of military officers, he referred to as the National Council of Transition. The government and parliament have been dissolved, and a military council headed by General Mohammed Idris Debi Ishno, the son of the deceased Chadian leader, will govern for the next 18 months. 68 year old President Debi is said to have died from injuries sustained while visiting troops on the front line of a fight against northern rebels. President Deby, one of Africa's longest ruling leaders, came to power in a rebellion in 1990. On Monday, provisional results from the election on April the 11 projected he would win a six-term in office with nearly 80% of the vote. The vote was boycotted by opposition leaders. At a planned celebration in the capital, in Jamina, supporters waited for the president to deliver a victory speech, but his party said he had instead gone to visit Chadian soldiers battling rebels from a group calling itself FACT, the Front for Change and Concord in Chad, who had launched a major incursion into the north of the country on election day. The president had in the past joined the country's soldiers in the front line of the fight against Boko Haram terrorists. Mr. Deby was a longtime ally of France and other Western powers in the battle against jihadist groups in the Sahel region of Africa. In 2014, following the abduction of 223 schoolgirls in northeastern Nigeria, at a security summit in Paris, heads of state of Cameroon, Niger, Chad, Beni and Nigeria met to discuss a medium to long term plan on sharing surveillance information, intelligence and military resources in the fight against Boko Haram. Taking a hard stance, President Idris Deby declared that it would be total war. And just last month, he was in Nigeria to visit President Muhammadu Buhari where they deliberated on sub-regional issues, including security challenges occasioned by the activities of Boko Haram. This issue of the multinational uh, joint task force, that uh, the situation where it is only able to carry out one operation a year, uh, makes things uh, very difficult and the task of uh, defeating Boko Haram uh, uh, more uh, difficult. Uh, but um, with, the, with the new security apparatus that has been put in place with the new chiefs of staff and uh, not only in Nigeria, uh, the, the, the security chiefs, but even uh, on the multinational joint task force itself, which also has a new leadership, that, um, that we're hopeful now that uh, with new strategies and uh, new uh, dynamism that we'll be able to uh, address definitively uh, the issue of uh, Boko Haram. However, there has been growing unhappiness over his government's management of Chad's oil resources. During the election, he campaigned on a platform of bringing peace and security to the region.